friends and neighbors, welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Uh, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go, live. I made it. I made it around to another Tuesday. You know, remember last Tuesday? What a Tuesday. Remember this Tuesday? It's happening right now. Uh, my friends out there in TV land, thank you for joining me in this uh, very difficult time. You know, like anything else, uh, everything just starts getting like into a repetitive cycle of, of the sameness, and now we're in it again. And it's like, you think something's going to be hard, you're going to start some kind of you know, diet, you want to start a new diet, and then every day you do it, and then you continue to do it, it just becomes the new regular thing to do. And now we've been living in uh, this way for for months and weeks and it's it's the same kind of stuff out there in the world and it's just like still cycles and looping looping days and weeks so is Tuesday the real day of the week still or is it even is it even a different kind of thing at all maybe it's just the same kind of day uh, I'm getting into the zoom here I'm gonna get this uh, find this cord, and then we can hear Freddy. Hello. Hello, program. Hi, Freddy. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, every day is the same. <laughs> every day is Not. the same. And Every we're day is playing not the same. We're in a in a in a in a loop, forever and a, all the all the time. One day, the next day, uh, we you know we were on one one loop, but we just all we did we we jumped over to a second loop. You know we were in one loop, and I you know, I, I never thought we'd get off of that main loop, but we just hopped over to another loop within the other loop, another day at the you same inside the program. Inside the program, in life, all of it, all of it, the circles and yeah. But I mean, loops. everyone's in control of their own loop. It's like if you're if you're doing the same things every day, it's because you're doing them, not because you're like stuck there somehow. Yeah, but if you well, no, if you're not doing, if you think you're not in the loop, then you're not paying attention. Even if you're doing new things, it's it's still you're still in your loops. But it's fine. The loops are good. The loops are good. You gotta live within them. How are you? What are you doing? I'm doing good. Today I learned how to put on a door that uh, basically I took apart a whole door to like get the laundry machine down to the basement. Or actually, I wasn't the first person to do this. I think the door was already not in like really put on right. Yeah. But then you couldn't get it around the door frame, and so I took off the door and the door frame. And today I tried to put it back together, and it was difficult. It took many hours. Um, and by the time I got it all done, I realized I had done it wrong. But the thing that was wrong had happened so early in the process that uh, I left it. And it's moderately functioning, but it's just like the door, when it closes, is about like two inches away from the door frame. So it doesn't actually like make a seal, but it's like pretty, it's more or less effective. It's like the, if you're not really paying attention, like, then you wouldn't even notice. Is it going to stay closed? Like, if it's not Is flush, it going to get wet? Is it going to latch if it's not flush? No, it's not going to latch. So it might swing open but if there's there a draft. No latch. I like, was putting back the pieces to get there, and there was no latch like made into the section where there would normally be a latch. Anyway, so. It's just a loose door, huh? There's yeah. No I mean, I think it could have a latch. Maybe I'm. What I'm thinking, this is like seems like the time when my land. We've been talking to our landlord about various things in the house, and one of the ones I was thinking about doing is being like, "Hey, uh, so I've noticed that whoever put this door together put the door together wrong." You know? Yeah. Like, 
not say it was me. But. <laughs> There's some loose doors. It reminds me of the studio and how that door was held together by friction. Or closed, anyway. You know? Like, like there was no... The latch didn't work. Oh, yeah. mm. The door was just, like, yeah. very tight. In you the... could lock it with a bolt lock, but there was no actual... Like, you don't need to turn the knob. Yeah, but it would stay closed because it was, like, really tight in its frame. You know? Yeah. It's, like, tighter than other doors, and most doors would swing open. So, yeah. Yeah, it's true. There's all these little, like, pieces of wood that are, like, basically spacers on the inside of the door frame that are there to make it so that it's either tight or loose or whatever. So it's, like... If your, if your door is tight or loose, it's just because of these, like, spacer pieces of wood that are put in there, you know? And, like, shims and stuff. Shims. Mm -hmm. what, what's that door made out of that you put in? Wood. Solid wood? Yeah, I think so. It's, like, really old. This is, like, in my... It's not... I'm at Matt Lyons' house now. Yeah. The program at 845 is, like been challenging because it's like right around dinner time now sort of yeah so i might we'll see how long i last today but i'll, I'll keep this going oh we got but yeah we have other things to do i don't want to house like, huh very old yeah very i don't want to don't want to hold it down they used to make doors. doors out of out of solid wood and at some point they started making them maybe hollow or something or fake wood. yeah they're very heavy when they're made of solid wood you know they're like and there's less there's less good wood these days now too. Another yeah. thing I did recently was uh, for some reason in, in the entryway of the house forever there was like a, a the inside of a piano basically. Uh huh. Wood. There was a piano inside the house, yeah. And uh, I. Basically, it's like not the playing part of the piano. It's just like basically the flat part of a grand piano mm -hmm. with all the wires and all that stuff. It was just leaned up against the wall. In fact, it was not leaned up against the wall. It was screwed into the wall because otherwise it would fall over. It was very heavy. And uh, if you walk down the stairs, you can actually see uh, in the basement where the floor is kind of like pulling away from the wall slightly because the thing was so heavy in there for so long. Yeah. But um, I took it apart. And the wood is incredible. There's like not a single knot in any of the wood from the, from the piano. Mm -hmm. It's like a fine object. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get it at that wood. I want to like use that wood for other things. <laughs> That's some good wood, huh? How's the... Um, how's it good wood. Yeah. yeah. Useful. How's the wall behind the door? How's the wall behind the door? Yeah, so the wall is like attached to the door oh. with a screw, right? It's not like covering up, covering up something, or it's like why? Like, what's your, you have a theory about why the piano is screwed to the wall? Is this an art piece or? Um, I think it was an art piece, I guess, because it's like the entryway. The wall seems fine. It's just like a regular wall. Yeah. Um. I mean, I imagine at some point it must have been a piano and then it broke. I, I don't know. Yeah. Nobody nobody I know put it there. It's been there since I can remember, like, going to the house since, like, the early, or, like, you know, 2010s, basically. Yeah. I think it's been there the whole time. It feels kind of bad to take it. I, every time I change something about the house, I feel a little, like, a little guilt. Mm-hmm. But uh, those people, whoever, whoever put that stuff in, is not like thinking about the future. No. And True. somebody built it. Yeah, somebody built some everything at some point. Anytime you change anything, you're changing a long history of things. Yeah, you're changing a long history of things, but also like they changed it. Like well, yeah. whatever, whoever put that door, you know, they they covered up that wall, they screwed the thing into the door. And they're like, this is going to be forever. And then they let, or they didn't care. They're probably, you know, they're, 
They just screwed it there. I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm going to screw this thing. Was it in drywall or was it, did they find a stud or how'd they, how'd they get it? So We don't have drywall. We got this stuff. It's, it's What they did was some kind of a plaster. Actually, there was a there was a hole in one of the walls in a separate location that I was that the cat tried to get into. <laughs> wall cat, yeah. Yeah, I mean the funny thing about the hole in the wall in the first place is because it was actually a cat somehow got up into the walls from inside the basement and then was like up in in the house and got itself stuck somehow or something yeah. and was like crying. And so, housemates probably 10 years ago, um, whoa, 10 oh. years ago, like, used the saw to cut into the do- into the wall yeah. and, like, get the cat out. But, um, but basically, the way the wall is built is you've got the studs like any normal house or any modern house, but then in between each stud, there's, like, this rows of little pieces of thin wood, basically. And then they put plaster on top of that. So it's not drywall. It's like actual wood with plaster in between. So a lot of times you like put a nail in and you feel it go into wood. But then you hear like plaster falling on the inside of the, inside the wall. Like plaster falls mm-hmm. down inside the wall. Um, so anyway, I just, I just like put a whole bunch more pieces of wood there to block the hole. So... Um, oh, but this whole time in the ten years, it's just been covered by a poster. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. They like didn't want the landlord to know for some reason. That yeah. Or that they had cut a hole in the wall to get a cat out, and so they're like, like don't tell Bill, and then like put a poster over it. <laughs> Was it the same poster the whole time? Same what? Same poster. Um. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I guess so. Have you seen the, the Shawshank Redemption? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, all right. it is, isn't that about... He's trying to get that poster of that girl or whatever? Yeah. Um, but the, is it... Uh, why, how did you even know there was a hole there? The poster was covering it the whole time. Um, so the poster that was over the hole was actually this like art piece that Reed Urban and John Nagai made. It's like that like cat dog, cat dog. They wrote cat and dog over the top of each other. Mm-hmm. So every time there's the word cat, the word dog is written over it, and every time the word dog, the word cat is written over that. All right. So, um, and they like made a whole bunch of these posters and covered the entire walls of La Boyer with them mm-hmm. one time. And so the poster that was over the hole for the cat was... I don't know if this was the original poster that was over the hole, but this one it was it was one of those Reed Urban posters. And I had found a bunch more of those in the basement and like had wallpapered one of the walls with those. Yeah. And then Sasha was like, Oh, that's the same as the cat hole. I'm like, What's the cat hole? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And showed me the um, showed me the poster hole covering the hole. So but then recently, she showed me that like two weeks ago, and then just yesterday the cat got in. And so this morning when I looked at the hole, it was not just the poster, but the poster was like duct taped to the wall. <laughs> the cat got through the poster somehow. Sorry, I missed it because of Zoom. The, oh, the cat got through the poster. Like, uh, I don't know if it got all the way through, but yeah, the poster was like hung up like as a poster with thumbtacks or something. Yeah, but like. That maybe the cat was somehow aware, aware that there was a hole there. Probably could feel the air, I bet, you know? Yeah. It actually smelled different. You can, like, go inside. When I, like, stuck my head kind of in the hole, it smelled, like, I don't know, kind of nice. Like, old wood or something. But not, like, rotten. Just, like, kind of like a forest, you know? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> a sawmill. So you can like tell, your, tell your guests to smell the hole. Like, what's, <laughs> yeah. that, what's that hole in your wall for? It's like, it smells good in there. <laughs> <laughs> Aromatherapy hole. Yeah, I try to like tell when she's like, you hear that? I got a lot, a lot from China after saying that. That's no hole, yeah. Yeah, it's a real aroma hole. That'd be, that's a good hole to have. Maybe I should just get like a, 
uh, smelling things. I've been really aware of smells ever since I heard oh, that the smell. Me sm too. Has there been just more smells in the world lately? I think maybe. For me, the um, I heard that the the uh, symptom of the Rones is is the losing your smell. So now I'm like symptom of ah of the Rones. The virus. The Rones there. Oh. I'm calling it the Rones now. Rones. Rones like r r Corona, Rona, Rones. Yeah. Corona, Rona, Rones. Whoa! There's a safe person here. Not not a not a scary person back there. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there. Oh yeah, there's someone there. Whoa, somebody who I find to be a safe, uh, somebody who is safe master, and master. not uh, threatening, you know? <laughs> somebody, somebody oh yeah, I forgot. I was, we were supposed to wear masks today. Oh yeah. We were supposed to wear masks. I forgot. Mask. I, just, I just made this mask out of leather and I don't recommend it. It's very suffocating. <laughs> when you breathe in, it does this. I bet you it's uh, really good at blocking the virus, though. <laughs> yeah. And you... And, Blocking your air. <laughs> yeah, if you, you can't see, breathe, you can't get the coronavirus. If you see somebody wearing a mask, that's somebody you can trust. Yeah. Um, They're like wearing a mask and they've got really dry hands. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 if you smell, but when you, like when you when you can't smell things, that's one of the signs that you like have have it, but you don't know. Oh. Like if you're not feeling sick and stuff, but maybe you can just like lose your sight sense of smell a little bit. Huh. So I've definitely like the like several yes actually the last three days I've had really distinct smells. Some good, some bad. And, so yeah. Um, so cherish every smell because that means that you're healthy, I think, or in a way. There was yeah, I guess my neighbor they have the waste do you guys have a yard waste bin at your house from the city? Yeah. Um so my neighbor has like you know, I guess puts grass clippings in there. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I was like out in the yard, and it really, really smelled like a rotten mouth, like like a bad tooth, or like, Ooh. like you know what I mean? I do. Like, that that really smell. Think mouth smell or something. Ooh. I was like this, like, but it was in the whole world. It was like in the front yard, yeah, in the backyard. I'm like, what is going on out here? It smells gross. What's happening? And then. Um, my neighbor came outside, and then I said, "Hey, it kind of smells weird out here today, don't you think?" You know, neighborly conversation. Yeah. And he said, uh, "Like, oh, uh, their yard waste bin was just open. I think it got like picked up that day or something." He's like, "Smell in here and see if that's what the smell is." And I smelled in there, and it was. And basically, it's like the grass clippings like get wet, and mm -hmm. then they like turn into some kind of weird soup, and everything changes, and they don't smell yeah. like grass. And it's hot. It gets warm. Like, huh? It gets warm and weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, and he like closed the lid, and that helped quite a bit actually. Uh, it was a surprisingly strong smell, and it's basically like grass soup. And then what else? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the heat. He said that I mean, they should probably put like holes in the bottom of those uh, yard waste bins. It'd probably be a good idea, I guess. Yeah, but then all your sludge is gonna go out in the ground. That'd be kind of gross too. Uh, it'd just be water though. It wouldn't be sludge yet, you know. Well, like, I guess you I put like a put, put like a grate there and getting warm. It turns into sludge. Put a grate down there. A oh, grate, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some kind of like breathable grate kind of deal. Um, Let's say, uh, ask people, like, hey, you, you smelled anything recently? you have any interesting yeah. smells in your life? I'm trying, I'm just, like, thinking about that one time at the Chez Puget when they had a garbage can full of fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Well, you're, this house really smells. Like, yeah, there's a garbage can full of dead fish in, in the yard. <laughs> oh. yeah, that's one of those smells that also had a sound, because, like, you... <laughs> If you if you got close enough to the garbage can, you could actually hear the maggots moving. Oh, it was like audibly crinkly or something. Audibly rotten. It was rotten, rotting, and uh, you could hear the rot, active rot. Yeah. So now I'm smelling stuff though. So I, every time I'm cooking or anything, I like get the garlic powder, give it a. <sighs> okay, got the road. Don't got the rones there. So ah, they smell good. Smells like hell. 
Um, you, well, what you want to do, you want to you try to uh, get, get off the program and, and do whatever you're also going to do, or stick around for a minute? Um, I, got, I, got some, I got some time. I figure Madeline's doing um, exercises, and like when she's done, we'll cook. And that mm-hmm. would be probably a good, a good period. But you don't have to change anything, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to hear the messages and the phone calls. All right. Well, here's some messages. Man, I've been listening to um, little little Richard still. Oh yeah, like, you said that yesterday. Yeah, I'm still doing it. That's so crazy because he keeps going. <laughs> like, he's doing. <laughs> it's like in the in the fifties, but he's just looking really insane. And then. But then he goes, ah! everybody, everybody, and then everybody tried to copy him. So like Elvis and the Beatles, like both oh, like did yeah. Little Richard covers, but they can't really do this thing because Little Richard, like somehow it is like just like really yelling like on key, like really heavy, like just like so crazy, uh, wow, like throaty yelling. Singing. I have to listen to it. I, I I don't know that I know. Like, what's is there a Little Richard song that I would know? Tutti Fruity. Oh, Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, is that that I looks three D? That picture looks three D. A lot of people cover that song, and I've I bet you the original is good, but when people cover it, it's pretty irritating. Yeah, but he he well, it's because he does this insane thing where he's like suddenly goes really 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 high and then just goes right back in oh. crazy yelling and stuff and everybody's trying yeah. to do that but nobody can really do it cool. especially paul mccartney from the, in the 60s tried to do it mm. he's bad and elvis actually yeah everybody's bad at it del shannon's got that kind of like going high thing and but he doesn't try to do be raspy any other time it's like all kind of sweet but then There'll be one part where it goes up really high. Probably still an influence, but I, I appreciate Del Shannon's style in that way. Like the run, 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 run away person, you know? Yeah. Um. Uh. Two cannibals got married last night. They said they were gonna have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a. I mean, that's uh, like that's like an actual joke, though, more than normal. Yeah, actually, yeah. Like, <laughs> what did he say yesterday? <laughs> I think he just was like, "I got diarrhea, the d- d- diary, real re- diarrhea." I think that was like yesterday. It was. I don't. Was there any, uh, did I miss your call? Was there like any sense of a joke yesterday at all? I think it was just like, "No diarrhea, wow!" Like. That's not a good thing, isn't it? That's a bad thing. Oh, it was not not a joke. That one was a joke. So maybe these are some actual jokes. Maybe he's getting better at this joke thing. Practice makes perfect. Guess what the devil had for dinner last night? Babies. Filet of soul. (laughs) Filet of soul. That's kind of a joke, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. Is that what the devil had for the devil? Yeah, what the dinner? devil had for dinner? Play wow. a soul. That's a that's a that's Soul's a joke. Good, I like that. It's like a fish that doesn't taste much. I, I never had it. Why would the like, operator get arrested for thievery? What? Well, she was taking calls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I mean, these jokes are so, like, real feeling that I am skeptical that they're even off the dome. <laughs> and, uh, are, you, like, are you, like, reading this out of a book, Mark? You got a joke book now? Yeah, you got, like, a joke book or, like, a popsicle? I'm calling back. I guess yesterday I, like, tried to talk to Rebecca, but it got kind of weird. Yeah. The cannibal joke's not going to be in a joke book or in a popsicle. They had a baby. Yeah. That's a little too dark. Yeah. It could be. A weird book. Hello. Hello, Mark. Hey, how are you doing? It's good. It's the program on TV. How are you? 
Pretty good. You hear about the two cannibals who got married? Yeah, they they had a they had a baby. <laughs> they had a baby. Did you make that one up? Yeah. Ahead of time, did you make it up and then and then be like, oh, I got a joke, I'm gonna call in, or did you are you calling and then been like come up with the jokes right right on the spot? Mark? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? What are you doing? <laughs> Just said you're not doing much. Yeah, you watching TV? No. No, just just staring at the wall, huh? Yeah. Um. Where's Rebecca? Lying down. Yeah. You're just staring at the wall. You're not watching TV. You're not listening to music. Nothing. Just wall. Wall. Time. No, I'm not doing nothing. I can't. I can never do that. Even uh, even uh, even in this time of uh, quarantine, I I still I'm always doing something. Mm. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm doing something. I always listen to like talking when I sleep, so mm. constantly things. So I can't just take a minute to look at the wall. That's. Are you thinking? No, I'm just looking at the tapestry we have up on the wall. Wow, Mark, that's admirable. Ab admirable. Ab. What is it? Admirable. Ab admirable. <laughs> admirable. Like an admiral. Admiral. Admirable. <laughs> like a, like a ship. Like a, like the leader of a ship. Yeah, exactly. Like when are you the ab admiral instead of the captain or something? Admirable. <laughs> Who's like the, the captain of the ship or the admiral? Who's like higher ranking? Seems like the captain's like the top. That could be of the ship, but I think an admiral might be. Like of the whole navy. Oh, okay. So when you when you're like the captain of a ship, it, like there's like captain is not that high of a rank. It seems like it's like a middle range rank in the army. Definitely the boss of a ship, but if you're like a military ship, probably captain's not the highest. Mark, looking at that tapestry and not doing anything is ab admirable. You know what I mean? What about abnormal? Abnormal. Well, I guess it's abnormal too, but. I want. I I should probably like turn off, uh, turn off like the electronic devices and and just like look out into space for a while. But then I'm like I'm like and then I'm I'm just sitting there. I'm still like thinking about something. And then I'm like, hey, I should do something. <laughs> or, or I'm like maybe I could start. I start like making plans or something. You know. You could like you could sit there and every time you start thinking about something, you say no. Yeah. Think about something. That's like that's Get like the what they do. They like you know Buddhists. Uh, chanting. So it's like if you're chanting the same thing, it's like you're not thinking. Oh yeah, you're you're, like, and you're not leaving room for thinking either. Yeah, they call it, it's like uh, like like distracting like the monkey mind or something. Mark, you ever tried to do uh, Buddhism? No. No, you don't want to. No. It sounds like you're already doing it though with this whole looking at the tapestry thing. I think you might have been enlightened. You might almost be enlightened, except for some <laughs> other things that make you not enlightened, I guess. But uh, what, what's for dinner, Mark? Uh, we had TV dinners. Uh, the the barbecue. Yeah. With uh, pork and beef. Yep. That sounds good. Did you ever get that nacho pizza? No. You ever heard of nacho pizza, Friday? Um, no. the, the one we got was you four cheese. Four cheese. What kind of what kind of cheese goes on a four cheese pizza? Yeah. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Cheddar. Cheddar. Yeah. American. I don't think there's anything in the American in the pizza. Uh, wait. So we have mozzarella. Maybe cheddar. cheddar. Maybe. Provolone. Provolone. No. <laughs> we had the sauce in there too. Gouda. Smoked gouda. Gouda? Yeah. What cheeses go on a four cheese pizza? I don't know. Well, aren't some cheeses just like two cheeses like mixed together? Uh, like, I don't know like, how cheese works. But a four cheese pizza. We got mild cheddar, medium cheddar, yeah. sharp cheddar, and aged cheddar. Yeah, it's like, what is, what, like, really, what's the difference between cheese? Isn't cheese like almost the same thing? It's like, oh, there's four kinds of cheese. It's like all just like old milk stuff, like. 
I don't know. That... They do have different flavors. I mean, definitely. Like, yeah. a blue cheese, probably not on the pizza, though. Probably not on the pizza. Yeah. You don't know oh, what the... I, you, know, you ever had one of those really stinky cheeses? Mm-hmm. Like a... Um... Yeah. What do you call that one? Uh, Limburger. M- yeah, Limburger, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mark, what? The, yeah. What's it? What? What are the four cheeses that go on the four cheese pizza? Can you look? I don't know. I didn't see it. Can you look on the box? Yeah. Are you looking at the box? Yeah, it didn't say on the box. When did you look at the box? Are you really looking at it, or you just? It just said four cheese. Yeah, but maybe it's like I would say, maybe at the back, you know, in the back of the box, it's got like a paragraph. It says like what the cheese, uh, like the story of the pizza. Oh, I didn't read all that stuff. I just threw it away. Oh, uh, yeah. you It's already gone? Yeah. And you have another one in the freezer? No. Nope. It's like, what is it, Red Baron Pizza? Yeah. It's like, we named this pizza after the Red Baron because the Red Baron was persistent and he never gave up. And I believe that that's the kind of, like, standard of quality that we hold. Like, Red Baron, as Red Baron was to shooting down... Uh, was he German? Was he German? Yeah. He yeah, was? he was a German pilot. <laughs> Wasn't he like a Nazi? Uh, I think it was World War One. Was World War One Nazis? I think. No, I guess not. But he was like, but I don't think they were Nazis. But they were still like, kind of like maybe the bad guys, right? <laughs> like, oh. like the pre-Nazis. Uh, they were yeah, still like, in the risk game. It's part of the access. Evil, you know. Yeah, they're they're evil, right? They got the name evil. Any of those thing, it's a matter of. I guess yeah. it's like we won the war or whatever. So then we get to be the uh, we wrote the history books about who's evil or not. What if what if we wrote the book on what's good or not and Hitler was just a good nice guy? Uh, you know, probably not, probably not. But you know, you don't know, you don't know about history. Um, but uh, the Red Baron was maybe like a pre-Nazi. But uh, anyway, it's like as yeah. dedicated as the Red Baron was to killing uh, Americans and shooting them down. That's how dedicated we are to quality pizza. That's what the back, the back of the the, the Red Baron. He's so famous. He's got that like Snoopy. He's in that Snoopy song for sure. Yeah. Was he like? Was he uh, famous at the time? Like people were like talking about him and all. Yeah, I wonder if it's just a story even. But also, like, the idea that he's a baron means that he's not just, like, a regular war guy. He's, like, uh, he's got some kind of a... Uh, he's, like, the lord of a man. He's got, like, a... He's rich, right? Baron's, like, exactly. like maybe, like, a, like a rich prince or something, or, like, a lord, maybe. Yeah, he's some kind of, he's some kind of royalty. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You have any uh, anything to say about the, the guy, the historical figure, the Red Baron, Mark? Yeah, Red Baron, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got some pizzas. Um, I haven't had those frozen pizzas in a while. I, I, I've been, I got another grocery order today, so I, but I didn't get any frozen food, like pre-made, pre-made frozen food. I just got more making... Long ingredients? Yeah. But I, I did get... I my hand at making uh, fried rice today. Oh, yeah? How'd it go? Hard to mess up, though, but... Yeah. Because I had, like, fried rice from the frozen Trader Joe's fried rice, and it, like, seemed like it was basically just rice, oil, and then, like, mixed vegetables, so... Yeah. And eggs. And eggs and, do that, like, and soy sauce, it. onions. You got any MSG? I got mushroom salt. It's, uh, it is a similar thing. Yeah, it sounds... I got MSG. I got just straight up MSG, but it's easy. I, I eat a lot of fried rice. Let's make it up. I mean... Like, you just put food that's going to be good, and you put it into a pan, and then you cook it. But the, ri- yeah. the the eggs really do a number to the rice. It makes it kind of meaty, I think. Like, it's like French rice, I guess. You know French toast? Oh, yeah. It's like French toast, but it's fried rice. So it's like the Asian Asian rice, I guess, or whatever, French toast, like French toast. Style. The French get a lot of uh, food items named after them. Yeah, I don't know that French toast is not, yeah, maybe not actually French. I think they call it the lost bread, like pan, what do they call it, uh, 
Le Pen Perdu. That's how they say it in French, I think. You, oh, you like Fren French? What do we call it? Toast? You like French toast, Mark? Mark, you gone? I think he, he wasn't interested in talking about French toast. He wanted to go back to looking at oh, yeah. the wall. Um, more. You know that you can't make very good French toast out of uh, French bread. <laughs> really? I, I don't didn't know that. It's it just like I don't think it would turn out too good. You need some like wider bread because French bread is like pretty thin or, or like diameter wise. You know, it's like long and thin. Like a baguette? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you have like little ones, if you have like a lot of little French bread, like French. Right, that. Yeah, but a ba yeah, a baguette, that's French bread, right? That's the same thing. I think so. When I think of French bread, I think of, like, garlic bread or something, where you get, like, the loaf, cut it in half, put butter and garlic in the middle, and then, like, oven roast it, and then put it into slices. Mm, I, I guess when I think of French bread, I just think of baguette, just, like, straight up. Oh, yeah. Could be. I wonder, I wonder if, if, if the... Bread peddler is open. I guess the um, San Francisco streets open. Go get some bread. From there. I used to go. Sometimes I would just get bread and just eat the loaf of bread just as a meal. The bread peddler has really good bread. They like they have some kind of sourdough thing that like is really good for you. I know people are still making bread. That was a big like bread craze during the quarantine. I've been making cookies. Hey. Hello, Yellow Fellow, did I wake you up? I am on melatonin. You want to go back to sleep? I'm sorry, and I'm going to try tomorrow. Good night. Uh, bye. I woke him up. Yellow Fellow. I woke up Yellow Fellow. He's been oddly humanized in my mind now that I've seen his face. Yeah, I know. It's hard not to think about his face when you hear his voice now. I mean, yeah. Which is like not something I do with most people. <laughs> yeah. Like even Mark, even Mark, I know what he looks like, but I don't like, I don't think about Mark as Mark or something when we're talking to him. Yeah. That the was. Little fellow is now. I'm like, I can see him because I was so excited to see him. Yeah, I think it's like twelve o'clock for him. It really flipped. It, it kind of it did flip my perception of what he was in a, in a way because I just like still put him as like a kid for some reason. I, uh, that's yeah. what I was saying to him too. I'm like, you're just a kid. What are you doing with this? Uh, you look like an adult. <laughs> I thought you were 12 still. Um, well, he was sleeping anyway. But maybe he was young. He was young when he started, and then like now he's like I, what we would consider definitely like just your average adult. Yeah. And he aged with the program in a way where it's like we're also getting older, but they can't like notice as easily. It's pretty weird. See. Yeah. Doing the program math of 10 years, long time. Oh, man. Hey, what episode number is it today? Three, three, five, two, four. Three, five, two, four. Ooh, we're almost to the season finale. Getting pretty close. Season finale is going to be May... Well, you left a message. Or, I couldn't hear a fuck. May 20th, right? Is that... Or... Three, five, three, two, right? Is that the premiere or the finale? That's the premiere. The finale would be the 31st. So, Tuesday the 19th? It's the day after Victoria Day and National Patriots Day Quebec. This must be like a Canadian calendar or something. Oh, no, it's got some. Oh, and then Memorial Day is coming up, too. Oh, it's like. How would anybody going to do in all these holidays? Did you did you do Mother's Day? I, I, I know you were probably on the program before. Uh, I called my mom, but it was like. It was kind of close to dinner time, and she, I like talked to her for like ten minutes, and then she was like, "Well, we gotta eat dinner." Like, okay, Happy Mother's Day. Oh, that was the day you had heat stroke, so I didn't get to talk to you about it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, it was fine. Um, it was actually shorter than our normal phone call. You know, usually, usually it's like forty minutes to an hour for sure. Talking to mom. So. All right. Here's uh, Mr. Ginsu. Well, you left a message. I couldn't hear a fucking thing you said, except for something about your property. You might be opening a business. Um, 
I can't remember. Something to that nature. Um, uh, trying to get a reverse mortgage. Yeah. Remember, you're supposed to get a reverse uh, mortgage. I have a bunch of shit to tell you, but freaking right off hand. It's lunchtime, but I can't remember what the fuck I was gonna say. Uh. Shit. No, I can't remember. What are you saying, Mr. Ginsburg? You don't huh. remember. Alright, well, being I can't remember fucking a thing because that fucking thing right before with all the ringing and talking. Jesus Christ. Yep, my clothes are dry. Yeah, Mr. Genji doesn't get... I must be getting tired. I must be tired, because I can't remember a fucking thing. Yeah. Not with all that talking and ringing going on. <sighs> I've really had to double down on laundry recently. Especially because I only have two masks. You're doing extra laundry? I'm just, like, doing, like, more laundry because I only have two masks and, like, three or four, um... Like, uh, like sweatpants, like pajama For pants sure. kind of stuff. So, like, that's what I'm wearing, like, most of the time oh. now. So now I always got to do the laundry. Uh, do you need more math? Um, I mean, I want, like, what's as... Your, what's your ideal mask style? I want, like, as many masks as I have, like, socks, basically, you know? Or, like, yeah. underwear. Like, it's a new article of clothing that you, like, that you wear... Yeah. Hey, Cheske, how are you? Cheske. I'm okay, how are you, Kenny? Good. I'm talking about how I need more masks, and now they're like underwear, but I only have two masks, so I gotta do laundry all the time, and I need yeah. as many masks as I have underwear masks. now. And, and new, you have more masks than underwear? I uh, know, I want more, as That's many, good. I want as many masks as underwear, maybe I could pair them up. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could just put you underwear... You know? Yeah. Today I'm wearing my red mask and my red underwear. Yeah. Then we, they're going to start selling packs of masks, like socks or underwear, because they sell it in packs. You know, like, they don't they don't sell packs of pants, but they sell packs of underwear. Like, can you even really? Oh, kitty! Can you even buy um individual underwear? <laughs> yeah, you can if they're expensive enough. Oh yeah, I, I guess I just get like, you know, fruit of the loom. You ever get those, sometimes I get advertised uh, on Instagram for very expensive underwear. It's like, buy this single pair of underwear, $60. I'm like, what? what? They must Why do you be, think I would want that? They must be, um, they, no, the Instagram usually like Target somehow, targeted. I'm some kind of underwear guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh um, man, yeah, it's gonna be weird. Like, um, when when everybody's getting like the unemployment money or like the the different kinds of money and like whoever has money and then the 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 the, the economy is gonna change. You know, I'm everybody's so f freaked out that it's gonna be ruined, but it's definitely gonna be different because it's like people are gonna, people are gonna have like different things they want to buy, and so then people are gonna produce different things. And so then advertising is going to change, and it's like, what are we going to, what's going to be available, and what's this kind of future of, of buying going to be like? And they're like, oh, yeah, I know you got the money, you got that unemployment, like, the, or like, like, yeah. things are like the worth of things. And gas is like, I like guess, cheap right now or something weird. But then. Gas is cheap, and it's like. But then you're not supposed to go anywhere. Basically, you should try to sell something for $1,200. So it's just like, like, someone's like, oh, my stimulus. Yeah, package. you know, I'm just gonna buy this one thing. Yeah, one nice thing. So I don't know if I'm gonna start selling packs of masks, um, at like you know the the Walmart or wherever else you get packs of things. But uh, I right saw a lady sitting outside on the street with a little like a, like a little street vendor. She just was selling masks. Oh, yeah, on the streets. Mm-hmm. Does she make them? Yeah, she made them, yeah. Oh. How much were they? I didn't stop. I was driving by oh. and I saw her. And I I can make my own masks. 
so. Oh yeah. Did you, oh you yeah. You can make them. I'll, you gonna make them a couple up too? <laughs> I got yeah, one. I'll make you a couple of masks. Yeah. I got two. <laughs> you don't care about what fabric. I, I'll give you some cool fabric. I want the cool ones. I I got um. I got two from China. So, but I, I'll take more too. I have to go buy more. Oh, Grandma. Uh, this is Mr. Ginsu. Been forwarded to an automatic Grandma's message good, good idea too, though. Three, six, zero. Mr. Ginsu's not answering. I don't know what he's doing zero, at this three, hour. Five, he never answer, been answering. Mr. Ginsu, uh, I own a house, but I'm thinking about that. And you want to get some extra cash? I'm thinking about uh, trying to get the bank to to give me the money like slowly and over time for like they're gonna take my house and buy it back from me. What do you think about that? What's that called? Okay, bye. You have about 15 minutes. It's going to be Armed Forces Day pretty soon. On Saturday. Alright, I'm calling Grandma. Alright, four, four weeks in the future. Yeah, oh man, I don't know what's going to be going on in June. Summertime. And it's going to be hot. Grandma! Hmm, Grandma's going to answer him. You hear me say the message. Oh, here we go. Hi, this is Ty's phone. Hello? Hello? Hi, Grandma. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. I'm calling to talk to you. What? I'm calling to talk to you. Okay. You can't talk with someone. You got water? You're drinking water? Yeah. That's good. What are you doing? Watching TV? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You, you, you have the you exercise. You got. You should walk around the house. You ever walk around the house? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why don't you talk to Andrew? No. Oh, Andrew's there, huh? Uh huh. I'm finished. Keep drinking water. She is. You talk to Andrew, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Talk to Kenny. Hello? Hi. Hi, you yeah, you yeah, a day off? Yeah, there's a day off. Tuesday. You always got Tuesdays off? Talk to Grandma. I already did. No, I'm okay. This is something to Andrew. She drinking? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Down there. He's there. Well, Grandma's on the phone now? Or, Andrew, you still there? Yeah. Do you got steak? You had steak today? Yep. What kind of steak? Um, oh yeah, the best steak in Thurston County. Yeah, best steak in Thurston County at Grandma's house. What are you do? What are you doing now? Right now? Eating? Oh, you're, you're eating? You're in the middle of dinner? What? You're in the middle of dinner right now? James, what's going on with that Scottish um, wildcat? Kind of. I stopped eating and then I, uh, the phone rang and I came back and then I think Grandma was sleeping. Now she's woke up from eating. <laughs> woke, up, woke up and started eating again. That's a good life. Um, where, what are you? Uh, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? You, you, uh, see, Dad went to, and Emily came over. No. That was on Sunday. You came over. Dad and Emily. Emily was there. Yeah. I went to work. They're in the backyard. Mm -hmm. I don't think they went inside. 
What? They didn't go inside. I didn't go because I don't have a car. They didn't go inside? I don't think so. You sure? No. When are you going to come over? Soon. When? When the government tells me so. When? Soon. I don't know when the government's gonna say. The one day the government's gonna say, "Okay, go to grandma's." Uh, some people are going to their grandma's. It's hard to hard to navigate, really. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna uh, tell your doctor about your medical condition. Ask your doctor about triplex. All right, I'm gonna record a message to the future. You ready? No. Hey, future, it's us the past. Talk to your doctor when you get the COVID. What do you have to say to the future? Well, I just got to say that Toscano Design Magazine is the greatest magazine. And it's been an honor to be present and uh, uh, first lady of Toscano Magazine. It's Tuesday. Bye, future. Oh, I'm excited you got the new Toscana. I, didn't, I, was, I thought the old one. I thought it was the old issue. If you feel like you are getting the coronavirus, you should kill yourself. <laughs> Jeez. What about um, <laughs> how about your your crazy coworker who you know what I'm talking about? Your crazy coworker who was like already crazy before it went down, you know? Uh, he 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 thinks that he doesn't. He thinks it's like not real. What what is he doing? Um. Well, I don't think he really had a life, anyways. You know? Yeah. So it doesn't matter. He's not like trying. He's not like trying to go out and do do shit. Yeah, he's just going to the store, just doing regular things, huh? Or yeah, who does he who does he live with? Um, I, I think he lives in like he told me that he lives in a apartment that his parents made on his parents' property, so he lives with his parents. Yeah, yeah. Some people they just don't don't believe it. You know, it's like. It's the weird thing is uh, a weird thing is to me is that I have like you know no direct evidence <laughs> that it's re- you know like I haven't like seen it's not like I know I you know but it's not something that you can can have direct evidence of you know it's it's kind of like you don't believe it until you get it well it's almost just like you know maybe like Jupiter you know Emily's coworker got it yeah I guess but like do you believe in Jupiter? Dying from it and shit like that. Yeah, everybody's dying. Jupiter, at least. But it's like Roy really just died. You don't believe in Roy? They said that Jupiter is. Re- they said that Jupiter is real, and I've seen pictures like on TV and stuff. But it's like I, uh, I've seen it in the sky. You can see it sometimes. Oh yeah. yeah. Siegfried and Roy. Siegfried and Roy died from it. Roy died. Yeah. Oh, from coronavirus. Yeah. Oh, Sigrid died from g- tigers. No, he didn't. The other one? I thought Sigrid died from tigers. No, he's still alive. Yeah, I thought I thought Roy. I thought it happened both to Roy. I thought one of them got got killed by the tiger. Yeah, one of them. No, one of them got attacked by the tigers, and now Roy is dead. And I kind of think that it's both Roy. <laughs> Roy got attacked by tigers. <laughs> And then he got the... D- Roy just got bad luck. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, that's what I think. But I, mean, I haven't looked it up. I heard that tigers can get it. So maybe... He got it from a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> tigers can get it? Man. I heard that tigers can get it, but they actually... I heard that they, they can get it, but they can't pass it. So, but it's like, you know, it's like all this stuff. It's like, how do you... How does anybody know it's real? You just like gotta believe in what people are telling you, which is like all you can do. Just like... But I've also had no experience, like direct experience, with like a maybe like a deadly fire or something. I'm like, fires can't kill you. Like, I've never seen anybody. I've never seen anybody die in front of me. I, I think. Well, um, is death real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've never. 
<laughs> I've never seen anybody die right in front of me. It's on TV or something. True, I've never personally died. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's pretty pretty wild stuff in the world. So I it's still going. It's gonna be uh, some of the places are opening. I don't know how long to relax or we can never relax again. But uh, well, you, you did you go to the store recently, Andrew? Uh, I go once a week. It was last week. What'd you do? What'd you get? Mm-hmm. Um, groceries. Where'd you go? I went, or I'm getting the delivery. I just got another delivery. My, my last delivery lasted me four weeks, so. What? Thank you. My last delivery of food lasted me four weeks. I got four weeks of food in a delivery. Wow. I'm eating mostly, I, I, got, a, I got rice, though. I, I was worried that I was going to be able to get rice, so I got a 20 pound bag of rice. Drop in paradise. Rachel, that's a, you ate the whole thing? No, I didn't eat the whole thing. I just got I got, I just got it today. I got the new order today. Okay. Hmm. I got 20 pounds of rice. I don't know how long that can last. Yeah, it was right. I got hit. By the tiger. Oh, Roy got Roy got attacked by a tiger and he got the runes. Yeah. Wow. The attack severed his spine. So he was already messed up from that. Why would someone know Ava Mercer? Oh yes. The ta- the tiger severed his spine. Permanently impaired motor and verbal abilities. Oh. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> how did, how did, I don't know how, how the tiger would get a spine and maybe he got him from the back. <laughs> the t- the, and then he had a stroke. After? <laughs> During. <laughs> well, complications from him, maybe. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Roy. Oh, Roy. Roy did not have a very good life. <laughs> I don't know, you could like be rich your whole life and then you get attacked by a tiger and a stroke and you're on the coffee mug. Put that on the coffee mug, yeah, on a, on a t-shirt. You could be rich your whole life and not get attacked by a tiger or something, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, like I've never been attacked by a tiger. I don't know if I... They got tigers right. in. You watch that Tiger King? What? You watch the Tiger King? Yeah. I wonder if they got any tigers around in Washington. <clears throat> there was like that um, reptile guy. There's a wild field rescue. It's more like it's more like uh, what Harold Baskin is doing than what Joe Exotic is doing. But they they rescue animals from those kind of things. It's over uh, it's over there by Shelton. Oh yeah, have you been there? Yeah, I've been there. It's really cool. They got tigers. They got tigers. Oh, you went to they the Baskin tiger place? They got little. Thing, little cat. No, there's uh, there's another. Uh, apparently, there's one in Washington. Wow. All right. Well, the show's almost over. We got a few minutes left. Say, okay, bye. say hi to Grandma for me. Say bye. Bye. Bye, Grandma. Okay. Bye. Well, Freddie, you made it basically. Yeah. I I think. I think, um, you know, I don't. I can't imagine that the exercises took this long. She said she was going to come out and cook, but I think maybe she got distracted. So it just worked out. What are you going to eat? I don't know if we decided. That's probably part of the problem. I think, like, chicken? Probably mm. chicken, I guess. Or, oh, we're going to have burgers. That's right. We've got black bean burgers, and we're going to cook them up. Black, like like pre-made black bean burgers? Yeah, I think they're maybe from either the co-op or Trader Joe's, but we got, you know... What's buns, in there? Like bread? Lettuce. Bread crumbs? Fixing. What? What's on? What's in a bread or what's in a black bean patty? Like beans? Black beans. Like bread crumbs? Like other spices and stuff? Maybe sweet potato? I don't know. Potatoes? Yeah. I, oh, I, you want me to look at it? Sure. I've been eating, uh, I ate, today I ate the stir fry, like the rest of the stir fry from last night. I got, um, 
Oh yeah, but then I just got all my like I'm down, I'm like down to like the bear food. So now I was eating. I got a new order, but now I'm gonna eat all the good stuff first until it's gone. Then I'm gonna be eat like like two weeks. I eat good for like two weeks, and then I have like two weeks of like eating like beans and meat and rice. Huh, I can't I can't find them. I found turkey patties. I found beef patties and salmon filet. <laughs> Everything's in patty form, huh? Where's the black hamburgers? Patty form is good. It's a good form for food to be in. Well, I don't know. That's the thing. Well, Freddy, maybe you can figure out how to get how to get the zoom. If you figure out how to get the zoom going, so that you don't need to be there if you don't want to be there every time or whatever. Yeah, um, we're going to set it up with the uh, rick at ydhwm.com email. I just got to do it. Oh, we have that? Yeah. Wow. We should probably switch that to the Google Voice, too, so that we can schedule our, um, like, don't bother me time. Can, oh, yeah. I, I never really have any professional emails, but I'm going to get some for ydhwm.com email. Yeah. Email that us. That was the one that, like, the one that we made for that account. Um we can get more. That I was like, should we get one that says like TV or like I don't know, whatever. All right, well the show's over. Have a good program. Or yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Here it goes. Here's the credits. Bye. Thanks for watching. It's Tuesday. We're on. TC TV channel 22 11 30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. What is Yeah. 360 836 for Call and leave a message. Get on TV. What I say? Number three. Check it out. Yeah. Fun singing. It's a good song. Thank you. TC TV. La Baby. Dirty Fabulous. Graham Graham. Sell Spy Condor. Lifters. This kind of Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers. So you're watching, thank you. SAE! Hell yeah, dog! Woo! Woo! Bye!